Sit right down and let me tell you a story about a man named John. His name was Trumbull, not Trouble, and he was the painter of the Revolutionary War. Okay, we have another interesting piece I want to show you here. We're in the art room. You can see the Kachina dolls and we have all, all kind of nice stuff. Even in here we have political pins. Right in there we have some political pins. But the thing I want to show you is this rare engraving. Now, believe it or not, somebody asked us to bring this down to the, the pawn shop, wasn't it, Brian? The pawn shop people? Mm -hmm. The pawn shop On knew TV. Uh, the, the pawn shop TV people knew that this was for sale in Vegas. And they asked us to actually bring this down to the store. So I want to go ahead and show it to you. It's the Declaration of Independence. This is a steel engraving. This is a very rare, rare piece. So this steel engraving is based on a painting by John Trumbull. Here's a picture of the American artist. He lived from 1756 to 1843. He was called the Painter of the Revolution. And they used his painting, the Declaration of Independence painting, they used it for the bicentennial $2 bill. Trumbull started work on this painting when he was in Paris. Around 1785, he was over in Paris. And he was working with Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was there as the U.S. minister. And he, uh, he first started with small portraits of each signer. Now here is, it says here, painted by John Trumbull. And when he was working on this big piece, he would go to the signers where they lived. Or if they were dead, he would talk to their family. And he was always looking for funding. As the whole time he was preparing to make this painting a reality, he was trying to get funding from some of the signers, the rich people and he promised to give them the engraving. Some of the, the, the engravings that were going to be produced after the painting was done, these engravings would actually be sent to the rich families in America, some of the signers' families. So this is a history. He always had a problem trying to make it as an artist with money. I mean, his paintings were fantastic, but he just could not make a living at it. Now, eventually, this painting here the, it was purchased by the United States Congress. Yes, this painting was purchased by the United States Congress, and uh, the engravings were made. And of course, you probably had to be a well-to-do family to get one of these engravings. Okay, to clarify, this painting, which hangs in the Capitol Rotunda, is a larger version of a smaller painting that he did for Yale University. So Yale University has a smaller version of this painting. Now in 1823, that's when the engravings began. The original engravings would have been done by an artist by the name of Asher Durand. Now apparently only about 275 of these engravings actually sold and is greatly disappointed Trumbull because he had been working on this huge project for over 30 years, 30 years of his life. So how about this engraving here? Now this engraving was done by an artist by the name of John Francis Eugene Prudhomme. Now he lived from 1800 to 1892. Now after the original version in 1823, many versions were made in the 1800s. This one was done again in the uh, 1800s by John Francis Eugene Prudhomme, circa 1830s, 1840s. Another version of this, a smaller version of this 19th century engraving is also at the Brooklyn Museum of Art. So it is a very rare historic piece. Thanks for stopping by. So that's the end of my story about a man named John. They called him Trumbull, not Trouble, and he was the painter of the Revolutionary War.